Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 31. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. The Chrysler Firepower sounds really cool. Like, that is genuinely a cool sounding name. Look at that. That is insane. And we're off. 2.5 miles for this race. Okay. Fair enough. Very early, uh, very late, sorry, to tell me that. And the next intersection, turn left, turn left. May as well be wrapping that. Might as well have Eminem as my sat nav guide. What I gotta do to get it through to you, I'm superhuman, innovative, and I made a rubber so that anything. <laughs> I can't really. I can't do rap god. It's too quick for me. I can do a homicide by logic. That's a pretty good song. At the next intersection, turn right. No. There we go, nice. Don't want to overshoot the corners too much, cause uh this game can punish you big time if you crash. Big time punishments. Like a full on slap, just like bang. Let's go, nice. And across the line. Finish first place. We beat Slick. That was some slick racing there. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? That was decent. Right, next up is the Aston Martin Vanquish SV12. Let's do it. This was going to be the car that we got for C-Class, um, because it is slightly faster. But, in the end, we couldn't actually afford it. So, we had to stick with this one. Um, I think this car is just slightly faster with uh, Stage 3 upgrades. It's slightly faster than the uh, V12. But the V12 with stage 3 upgrades is like 215 miles an hour. Like, that is B-class territory. Same with this car. It's B-class territory. At the next intersection, turn right. You think the Ford GT is an A-class car and it goes slower than this. It's going really well. Two miles left. Ford dealership over there. Very nice. Oh, that was close. Bum bum ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 ba. Awesome. No. Get back onto the track. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Too close for comfort. Right, Bretty Cooper, you just got beaten. Right, we got, I think, one more race of Club C, and then that'll be Club C done. If I remember correctly. 
Yep, and the last vehicle is the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. This is a nice car. This is a nice Italian car. The only thing, again, that I always say, and I said a lot in this game because nearly every single car has them, is the circle rims. Rims that are circles are not nice looking. I'm sorry. Alfa Romeo can't pull it off. Koenigsegg can't pull it off. Lamborghini can't pull them off. No one can pull them off. They are horrible. So, like, rims where the spokes are circles. No. Just no. BBS rims, though. Yes, please. Imagine if there was, like... That's one thing we need, is, like, visual customization in TDU Solar Crown. Be, like, BBS rims, aftermarket parts. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, ow. <laughs> that was brewing for some time. I couldn't talk as well. I was like paralyzed. Always happens with seizures. You're like paralyzed for a bit. Oh, not great. Get back on the road. Perfect. Oh, nice, nice. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Let's go, go, go. See, these cars, as we've sort of gotten like further on and had easier to drift cars, the older ones that we used to be able to drift are now getting really hard to drift. Or maybe we just never noticed it. We just never noticed that we couldn't drift them in the first place. Something like that. But we got ourselves a free vehicle upgrade now. And we're at 700,000 credits. I don't think uh, money's a problem for us anymore. And especially once we finish the last championship. Uh, we get all the houses for free, apparently. So, yeah. Pretty cool. And there we go. We are president of Club C. Right, so we are now heading to Club B. This is going to be our final club for today. We've done so many clubs, it's ridiculous. There are so many clubs in this game, though. And, like, there's so much stuff to do, it's ridiculous. But here we go. We are having to look for a B-Class car. We have quite a few that we can drive. I feel like I want to go for the Gallardo Coupe. Um, we also have the Roadster as well. But uh, let's go for the Coupe. Uh, so our first car is the Dodge Viper SRT10 Coupe. Let's do this. We're going to show them who's boss. I'm the boss. I'm the big bear boss. Yeah. Let's go. Right, Lamborghini against the Dodge Viper. Let's do it. The Mincer. What are these names? They're getting worse and worse. Right, so we've got a tight hairpin corner coming up here. Oh, wait, what? That was a visual glitch on my screen then. Because it looked like we were taking a tight hairpin and then going the other way around, but uh, apparently not. Awesome. Okay. Now let's take this junction down here. The Dodge Viper is right on our tail. Obviously, most of the cars in this club are going to be very much similar performance-wise. Nice. Come on. We got this. Come on. Got a little bit of off-road penalty there. What 
are you doing? Traffic cars are crazy in this game. There's no other way of putting it. They are just absolutely nuts. Nice. Come on. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Careful. Nearly lost control. Nice. Going round these twisting corners up here now. These are quite nice to drive up. Some of these roads are insane, and I'm hoping for the long races we're going to have, like, just the best of roads. Awesome. Right, 0 0.6 miles left to go. Come on. For the first race, this is actually taking a lot longer than I was expecting. Perfect. Ba 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 da ba 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 da. Meow. And across the line, finish first place. Awesome. 3,750 credits. That is really good. Right. What is next? We're going to be driving against a Mercedes-Benz CLK DTM AMG. We've already driven against this car, but not with the Gallardo. We've actually driven against that with the McLaren SLR. I do like the McLaren SLR though. It's a very nice car. Looking forward to driving it. Again. <coughs> right, let's beat Avon. 2.2 miles. Bum ba da ba ba bum bum bum. Oh, I thought we were going that way down that road. Oops. Oh well. Didn't really affect us too much in terms of speed. At the next intersection, turn right. Awesome. Look at that. This game is so beautiful though. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we're going this way down the road. Perfect. Ah, uh, careful. That was a tighter corner than I was expecting. Oh, that's the finish. One minute and nine seconds for that. Very good. Very good, very nice. Right, let's have a look. Next up is the Volkswagen W12 Roadster. It's a very nice car. It's a nice car. It's clever. But I wouldn't want one. I don't want to drive one in this walkthrough either. Because it's... Uh, it's. I mean, the Roadster's alright. The Coupe looks horrible. The Roadster can just get away from with it because there's no roof. I mean, look. I'm not a great fan of it. But again, that's just personal preference. But there are certain cars in this world that if you don't like, you are ill. Like the Lamborghini Miura. If you don't like the look of that car, there are problems. We're going to have beef. But uh, any other car. I mean, if you said the Bugatti Veyron looked horrible, I wouldn't blame you. 
There are... There have been times when I haven't liked the Bugatti Veyron. And now I sort of like it again. But like... Cars are a very sort of like personal preference. They are very strong towards preferences. And me personally, I like all sorts of cars now. Like I used to sort of be like, oh yeah, it's got to be super, super fast or I'm not going to like it. Now I'm like, oh, if it, if it looks decent, I'll have it. I'll drive it. I'm really looking forward to like Gran Turismo 7 going, starting from the beginning, starting from the bottom, and then building our way up through the ranks. I would like Gran Turismo 7 to take like the same amount of time as it would take me to complete, say, Gran Turismo 4. Endurance races need to come back. Um, so we need a 24-hour endurance. One that you can save midway through so you don't have to worry about your console powering off. But yes, we definitely need to do that and have that as a thing. Come on, perfect. Now, here we go, across the finish line. T Dub Benjamin. Sorry, but you've been beaten today. Uh okay. I was worried that the game had frozen and crashed then. But uh, it didn't. Right, next up is the Noble M four hundred. This is um a very fast car actually. I think we own one of these. Um, it's a really sporty car. Very lightweight, very nimble. Um, but top speed tails off after about 160. And it gets very difficult to accelerate after that. Whereas with the Lamborghini, the acceleration goes all the way up to 190 before it starts slowing down. That's a whole 30 miles an hour. That's a lot in terms of racing games. going good so far. I like the street driving because uh, it's sort of more difficult to go around corners in street driving because square corners you have to sort of make a driving line and hope for the best. At the next intersection, turn right. Ah, turn right. Come on. Perfect. Nice. Good. This is going good so far. Nope, not going good. You are driving in the wrong direction. Please turn around. Right, where's the noble? Where's the noble? Where's the noble? Where's the noble? Crash into the back of me. Or slow you down. Perfect. That is my toxic driving tactic. If you ever want someone to slow down or not overtake you, um, don't do this in like multiplayer because it's nasty. Never do like toxic driving in multiplayer because that's just horrible and it's not fun. Especially Gran Turismo Sport. I mean, that's a proper good game, except for the fact that there's so many toxic drivers. Um, but top tip, when you're in your single player games, front of the cars don't let them pass use your weaving tactic that's fine as long as it's single player and it's only ruining your own game not anyone else's uh, <laughs> top tips from mechanic cg that's very good though very good right so our next car we're going against is a spiker c8 this is again the spiker brand the company that went bust I think it was somewhere in 2008 or 2010, or it could have been 2012. Between those four years, somewhere Spiker went bust, and we've never seen Spiker again since. I'm pretty sure it went bust, because I haven't seen Spiker in any other game since. It would be nice to get Spikers back in, but obviously, 
I think because the company doesn't exist anymore, it might be difficult to get licensing. Um, but then again, because the company doesn't exist, it might be easier to get licensing because they don't need them as of such. We don't know yet. Or I don't know how that stuff works. If anyone wants to let me know in the comments, feel free to. I love doing this as well, like doing the YouTube side, because the comments teach you a lot of stuff. Um, from tips, recommendations, all sorts. Like this game I've played mostly through on my own. Uh, episode 1 hasn't come out yet, but it comes out... Oh shit. Episode 1 comes out tomorrow night for me, so... Yeah, it's going to be cool. Hopefully, we get an okay reaction from the series. Um, because of it being like a proper good game and being test drive, it's sort of trending at the moment. Hopefully, it gets a few more views than normal. Um, but I'm not doing it for the views. I'm doing it as an excuse to finish the game. And it's a very good excuse. And I'm starting another excuse soon, which is going to be Yakuza, which I think will be out now anyways. But once I finish recording this game, I'm going to start recording Yakuza, hopefully. Um, because I did Yakuza 0, but we had a lot of corruption. We had video corruption and game file corruption. So uh, I just gave up on that. Um, but definitely... I've been playing a little bit of Yakuza Kiwami, and I've been enjoying that big time, and I really want to play it on the channel and finish it. So we're going to be doing that. And uh, recently, I think two days ago, they actually released uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2, which is Yakuza's 2 remaster. So yes, really looking forward to playing those. Apparently Kiwami 2 is a stunning looking game as well. So. I'm going to enjoy that big time. Nice. Oh, cutting the corner there quite dramatically. And there we go, across the line. Theta Republic. You just got beaten. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ah. I feel like I want to buy the classic Yakuza's though, even on the PS2, because they look old, and that's sort of an appeal of playing the PS2. Uh, but next up, Ford Shelby Cobra Concept, we're going to defeat this car, and then that's me done for today, because I'm knackered, I'm tired. I've got a load of uh, load more PS2 games coming as well, um, I've got Grand- wow. PS1 games as well. I've got Gran Turismo 2 coming. Um, I've got Midnight Club, which I got recommended by Sewer People. If you look on my uh, the channels tab on my channel. Oh, shit. You'll actually see his channel there. Check it out. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, I breathed something in. Ugh, that hurt. Um, but also, uh, what was the other thing? Ridge Racer 5. Or V, whatever you want to call it. It is technically Ridge Racer 5, but... V. Oh, no! Massive crash between the uh, Cobra and that lorry there. Gives us a chance to squeeze by and take the lead. But uh, we also crash ourselves as well. That car went flying. That is unrealistic. No, I'm aiming the wrong way after I um, straighten up my camera. At the next intersection, turn We've got a Cobra coming for our ass, actually giving us a little bit of a lot to tap behind. Stay back. No touching my ass, please. Oh. Nice. Two miles. Not far left. Not far left. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, not great. Okay. Perfect. Let's get this finished and done and dusted. Ah, we're going up here. We're going up here. Nice. Half a mile left. Let's do this. I see the finish line. And we're across it. Now. Next vehicle upgrade is free. Awesome. And that is Club B done. A little bit more money, which is awesome. Not a lot of money in today's recording session. Uh, not going to be a lot in tomorrow's either, because we're doing eight clubs. Um, and only clubs. But then the day after that, we should be able to get a load of money finishing off events. But there we go. President of Club B. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.